Hello, beautiful people. It is Ashley here with Fire Intuition. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday, June the 4th. I am here to do your daily reading. I tell you guys in every video that I love you, so I'm sending a lot of love out there to you guys. I hope you guys are open to receive it. If you guys have a quick question, you guys know you can always follow me on Instingo as Fire underscore Intuition. And I am on Facebook and on IG as Fire Intuition. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, all my information is in the description box below. Far as personal readings, if you guys have booked a personal reading and it was due... No, not due. If you guys booked it anywhere from the 25th through the 28th, either your reading is uploading now... Or it will be done today and sent out tonight. So I want to say thank you again to everyone who has been patient and who has been waiting. Okay, um, the week before last are the people that booked within that week. I had got over a hundred bookings. Okay, so I looked at my calendar and I was like, whoa. So I just had readings coming out of nowhere. I appreciate all the love and the support. I appreciate the fact that you guys love me. I love you guys, I love you guys, I love you guys, because most of my readings are regular, so I really do love the fact that you guys keep coming back to me, and that you guys trust me, you guys love me, and you guys allow me to read for you, so again, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for being patient, I have um, eight more to do, um, and then I will be completely caught up with the people who um, book between the 25th and the 28th, so you guys will have your readings out either tonight are they're uploading right now all right guys so thank you thank you thank you thank you as soon as i get those done i promise i will have the june readings out per sign okay i've been trying to just knock those out the way instant go is caught up unless you guys just sent me a message in the last day or two i haven't got it but i will go check those tonight and that's it so let's hop into our reading like i was telling you guys the other day when i spoke to you guys on friday there has been a major shift, so a lot of you guys are still purging. A lot of you guys should feel that different um, energy, like you should feel an energy shift, okay? A lot of you guys feel like a weight has been lifted off of you. A lot of you guys are more in peace, you're calm, you're not crying anymore, you're accepting things. So the shift is real, the shift is great, so I love the new energy for you guys. So if you guys are still purging, for some of you guys, you still will. If not, a lot of you guys are healing and that cycle is over or it's coming to a completion. All right, guys, so I'm going to start with some mermaid oracles. Is this the mermaid or is this the dolphin one? This is the magical mermaid and dolphin oracles. All right, I'm going to pull two messages. And no, guys, I won't put them to the side this time. I read the comments when you guys were like, you guys just put all them to the side. No, it wasn't that I was putting it to the side. I just felt like that one didn't resonate with me or at that time so that is why i put the card to the side all right guys so let's see what messages we got for today spirit of universe can i please get some messages for monday june the 4th all right we have self-employment that flipped over And if one doesn't flip over, then I will pull a random card out. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, no, one flipped over. We have waves of prosperity. All right. So we have self-employment and we have waves of prosperity for our messages today. All right. So we have the self-employment card. And it says, you are a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. So this is for a lot of you guys who are self-employed, who own businesses. Um, for a lot of you guys, I feel like this is something that you want to do, something that you're trying to do, something that you've been thinking of. I feel like if this is something that you've been thinking of, trying to do, go for it. You know, I feel like the energy is very positive. So I feel like this is the time that you would probably want to start launching that or putting that idea, you know, together or just being very creative and mastering the idea and just going for it. I just see great opportunities with it. So go ahead. If you guys are trying to own a business or start a business, um, I think it'll be a beautiful time to do it. Um, I did mine out of the spare of the moment. I just woke up one day and was like, I'm quitting my job. I'm going on YouTube. So um, sometimes you don't even need to plan it. Just do it, okay? Um, we have waves of prosperity. 
and at the bottom it says new abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now so this is beautiful i love it we're coming into some abundance all right so be open to receive it it says new abundance and exciting and exciting opportunities wash over you now so abundance and new opportunities are coming so guys please be open to receive it okay all right so let's hop into the reading i am using the everyday enchanted tarot it was a request so let's see what we got for today spirit universe can i please get some messages for all signs as a general reading for monday june the 4th These cards are huge, but I love the images. And I miss you guys. I can't wait. Like, this week I'm posting every day. Like, I'm about to go back to doing the daily guidance and posting. I had just got really busy with the readings and everything. But I am ready to post every day. I miss you guys. I miss you guys. I miss you guys. All right. So, let's see. I'm going to shuffle one more time. All right, guys, so the first card we got out is the Two of Cups. Um, oh, yeah, if you guys sent me a Facebook message or if you guys um, sent me an IG message or, like, an email, I will respond to those. You guys already know if you guys been in my DM or on my Facebook. I'm not going to lie. There's, like, so many messages. I don't even know where to begin, but I am going to start checking those, and I will be checking those this week. Um, so if you guys have sent me a message on there, um, I will be getting to those as well, okay? So we have the Two of Cups. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Seven of Cups. All right. So for some of you guys, this is new love. Okay. New love is coming in. For some of you guys, this is reconciliation. Okay. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Four of Wands. Someone from your past is trying to come in. For some of you guys, this is someone new. We have the Two of Wands. I mean, I'm sorry. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Four of Wands. And we have the Nine of Cups. Okay, for some of you guys, there's someone new coming in. We have the two of cups with the four of wands. Someone wants to commit. Someone wants to settle down. Whoever's coming into your life, they want a stable relationship. Okay, this person wants long term. They want marriage. As we can see in the two of cups, these, this couple has grown um, old together. Okay, so whoever's coming in your life, it could be a life partner or it could just be someone that wants a long term stable relationship. We have the nine of cups as well. So there's going to be wish fulfillment. This is something that you've been wishing for. This is something that you wanted something that you've been longing for. So there's going to be a commitment and there's going to be wish fulfillment in this. And with the two of cups, you guys are, you know, giving each other your cup, which is going to make this a 10 of cups. Okay. Um, and that's for new people. For some of you guys that have people coming back in from the past, we have the two of cups and we have the four of wands right here. We have the seven of cups. So I feel like the person you could have been dating, or this could be you, someone had many suitors. Someone was, you know, dating other people. That could have been the reason why you guys broke up or separated. But if not, then when you guys broke up and separated, they dated a lot of other people. And with the Seven of Cups, it's like they see and realize that you're the person they want to be with. And with the Seven of Cups, it's like they want it all. They want everything. Okay? They want the house, the dog, the kids, you. They want everything with the Seven of Cups. So they're not daydreaming anymore. They're not fantasizing. They're not in their head no more. And they miss the connection that you guys have with the Two of Cups. Okay? So they want this true love, this everlasting love. With the Four of Wands, they want to get with family and friends. They want to celebrate this new beginning, the marriage, you know, the moving in, whatever you guys are going to do. Some of you guys, there's going to be offers of engagement. Okay? So you guys are going to get offered or get offers, I mean. And then we have the Nine of Cups. Okay? For those of you who have people coming back, this is them wanting that commitment back because you guys already had a relationship. So they want that commitment back. They want the commitment in the existing relationship. They see that when they were with you, you know, they lived their best life or they were just happy. This is happiness, contentment. This is joy. This is satisfaction. This is everything. Like, they're excited. Okay? But like I said, for some of you guys, there is new love coming in. And this will be a long-term relationship. And again, for some of you guys, this is someone coming back. Okay? We have the Death card. We have the Ten of Cups. See, what did I tell you guys? I can't make this up. Remember I told you we have the Nine of Cups. You guys are going to give each other the cup. It's going to be the Ten of Cups. 
See, we had the Ten of Cups. The first card we had was a death card. For some of you guys, you guys are going to end a relationship with someone or a relationship ended. And as you go through transformation and as you guys heal, then you have a life partner coming in. Okay? Which is what you guys call Twin Flames. That you guys have a life partner coming in with the Ten of Cups. And that's why on the Two of Cups, that relationship is growing old. Because this is someone that you're going to be with for for a long time, like for the rest of your life, this is going to be a life partner coming in. We have the Ten of Cups. So it's like you're ending one relationship and coming into a new one. For some of you guys, this is just going to be a new relationship, period. You guys could be dealing with a Scorpio. You can um, be a Scorpio or they can have Scorpio in their chart, someone are rising, or Scorpio in their Venus. It doesn't matter. But we have the Death card. Someone's definitely going through a transformation. And as you guys go through this transformation and heal, you guys are going to get your Ten of Cups, whether it's with that past person or if it's with someone new. Okay, next we have the Six of Blades, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So, with the Six of Blades, which is the Six of Swords, this, for some of you guys, this is you moving on, okay? Like I said, you're moving on, someone new is coming in, we have the Ace of Pentacles, there's going to be a new beginning. This is a new commitment. This is you in a relationship committed committed to someone, someone dedicated to you, someone that's going to value you. This is like you feeling valued. Okay, be like, okay, finally I'm with someone that knows my self-worth and value. Okay, if this one is a past person, they're going to try to come back. We have the Six of Swords. Okay, you see how this person is skating and the ice is cracking. It's like this person was skating on thin ice with you in the past. Okay, so for some of you guys, with this Six of Swords, when this person tries to come back into your life, we have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you're only going to take this person back if there is an offer on the table. Okay, for some of you guys, you're just like, you know what? No, I skated on thin ice with you before. You know, when I was focused on the Ten of Cups, you know, you were with other people. You weren't happy and content. You didn't want to be with me forever. Okay, so with the Ace of Pentacles, for a lot of you guys, you know, if this is someone from your past, I feel like you want more than just them coming back. You want to offer. You want them to offer you something. You want this to be brand new. For some of you guys, you're going to tell this person if they try to come back that you can offer them a friendship or all you will offer them is a friendship for some of you guys you're like okay you know i love you i will always love you you know but i just think we're better as friends okay that's for some of you guys for someone coming back all right but i see new love and old love coming in we have oh that's the uh, deck upside down next we have the four of blades which is the four of swords we have the hierophant we have the two of wands we have the knight of cups Okay, so like I said, they're going to try to come back. We have the Knight of Cups with the Two of Cups. This is definitely someone from your past trying to come back. For some of you guys, this is someone new. You're going to meet someone new. Okay, you might meet this person while you're traveling. You might meet this person while you're out and about. But whoever this person is that's coming in, if this is a new one, there's definitely going to be... A commitment this is definitely a life partner coming in because we have the higher fan we have the two of wands okay and then we have the knight of cups for some of you guys you're already talking to someone you're talking to someone and you're starting to like them okay you're like oh, okay i like this person and they might have came in your life as a knight of cups it might have been something really quick you know you guys might have hung out a couple times you're like oh, okay i like you and you didn't think nothing of it you didn't think it was going to be nothing serious for some of you guys you know this was just like a friends with benefits are you got yeah you guys are just having sex of friends with benefits and it's going to grow more than that because either you really like that person or they really like you and whoever likes whoever is not seeing the connection they're going to open their eyes up to the connection very soon okay and i feel like for some of you guys with the four of swords whoever this person is that you either have friends with benefits or you guys hook up every now and then. We have the four of swords. I feel like they could have been dating other people and they either kind of put you to the side or you kind of put them to the side. You were like, hey, you know, I want something serious. I want a commitment. And they weren't ready to offer that or you weren't ready to offer that. So you kind of put things to the side. And I feel like this person is going to come back because of the two of wands. They made a choice now. Okay, this is them making a decision or making a choice. And they're like, okay, I want to be more than friends. They're like, I don't want to just be friends. Okay, so with the two of wands, I see you guys moving forward. And then we have the hierophant. You could be dealing with a Taurus, but if not, I see a commitment out of that. Okay, so I see that turning into a commitment. I see that turning into something long term. Now, if you guys were dating someone in your past and they were coming back, you guys were separated. Like I said, with the four of swords, you guys were separated. This person is making a choice. They're going to come towards you with the two of wands. Because now they realize, they're like, they're thinking, they're like, dang, I should have never ended that relationship with that person. 
They're like, I'm dating this person, I'm dating this person, and you're like, you're you're like, or they're thinking to themselves, like, you know, why am I doing this? You know, it's like they kind of question whoever's around them now. So they're gonna make a choice, or you're gonna make a choice. Because now they're having regrets. Now they're like, okay, I shouldn't have ended that relationship. They're gonna try to come back and you know, they want the commitment back. And of course, if they try to come back, if it's is a person from your past, of course, with the Knight of Cups, they're going to try to sweep you off your feet and tell you what you want to hear, you know, lick all up in your ear and stuff like, oh, you know, just, they're just going to tell you what you want to hear, okay? But for some of you guys with the Four of Swords, even if they come back and tell you what you want to hear, you're so chill, you're so over the past, you're like in your meditative state and you're like, okay, is someone talking? Because, like I said, for some of you guys, you're just ready to move forward, even if this person comes back, okay? If this is new love coming into your life, with the Four of Swords, you know, you let go of the past. You're ready for someone new to come in. You're ready to enjoy life. You're not scared to step on, a, on, on the unknown. You're like, okay, I'm ready for love to come in. You're like, I want a commitment in due time. So for some of you guys, you're like, okay, you know, I'll play around. We can be the Knight of Cups. You know, you can be the Knight of Cups. We can have sex here and there. We can date. We can go out, you know, because some of you guys just aren't thinking about commitment. So I just got all different kind of energies in the reading, okay? Some of you guys want somebody from the past. Someone um, has... Will want someone new coming in. Then I see like friends with benefits turn into the relationships. Then I see people just, you know, being with someone, you know, and not wanting a commitment. So the energy is just all over. Okay. I feel like it's because of this shift right now. We have the Will of Fortune. We have the King of Wands. We have the Hangman. And then we have the Eight of Wands. So again, like I was saying, you know, if you were dealing with someone from their past, this person was stuck in their head. They couldn't make a choice and decision. They had everybody around them. They had a lot of people in their head. Okay, they were stuck in negative thoughts. And they see how stuck they were. Okay, we got the Wheel of Fortune. They see how stuck they were. And they're like, you know what? Why am I feeling stuck? They're like, you know, things can turn in my favor if I just get up and get out of my head and go fight for the person I want to be with. So we got the King of Wands. This person is a fighter. Okay, the King of Wands is very passionate. They're a leader. They're bold. They're courageous. They're honest. They're active in their relationships. They'll fight. Okay? Don't get me wrong. They'll pull the wool over your eyes. Okay? You'll be walking around with black hair. They'll be having you thinking you're a blonde. But this person is coming back different. Okay, so if you guys been dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius, I just see them being different with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like they've learned their lesson. They're ready to kind of move forward. They see that they were stuck with the hangman. They saw that when they were, you know, in this energy, like this stuck in limbo, nothing was happening. Or when they were focused on what they wanted or being selfish or stubborn, they seen that nothing was moving. Okay, so with the Wheel of Fortune, now that things are going to start turning and they're getting up and they're coming towards you to fight, we have the Eight of Wands. So this is communication coming in. Okay, so some of you guys could be moving in together. Some of you guys could be relocating to that person. But this is this back and forth communication. For some of you guys, you guys are going to meet in person. You guys are going to talk. You guys are going to see if you guys can work things out. If this is someone new coming into your life, okay? Um, if this is someone new coming into your life, I feel like with the hangman, you're going to be in your head, but not for long. Because it's like you're trying to have a new outlook on things. It's like you're trying to look at things different. For some of you guys, because you're scared for someone new to come in too because you've been so hurt in your past relationships that you're scared to welcome someone in. But as the king of wands coming in, no matter what the sign is, when you see that this person is all about you and they're really active and they're consistent, you know, you're going to like, oh my God, I'm getting texts every morning. I'm going to text every night. This person calls me. We go out all the time. You're just going to see that this person is very consistent. You're going to see that, you know, they really want a relationship. And so with the will of fortune, you're going to, you're going to allow things to turn. Okay, you're going to allow the wheel to turn. You're like, okay. And then you're going to start opening up your communication more. You're going to start being more open to the relationship with them. Okay? That's for some of you guys who want someone new. So we did pass new. For those of you who just want to like this date and just want to mingle or do whatever. Um, with the hangman, I'm not going to say this is you being selfish. But I feel like this is you just not really focused on love. Okay? With the will of fortune. It's like... I feel like other things are turning in your favor. Like you might be focused on work. You might be focused on the home. You might be focused on the kids. And it's like other areas in your life that are moving forward. Okay? And you're focusing on that. You're trying to get yourself back together. And it's like you got this king of wands person in your life. And you see him. You guys go out. They're active. They play a major role. And with the eight of wands, you, you open yourself up to communication with them. Okay? But it's like you're playing hard to get at the same time. All right? So those are for those that's for those people like i said i see energy all over this reading okay all right so at the bottom of the deck we have the empress 
So again, a lot of you guys, if this is someone new, if this is someone old, if this is just like a friends with benefits, or if this is just, you know, someone that you're talking to, a lot of you guys are focusing on yourself with the Empress. A lot of you guys are putting that energy and effort back into yourself. You're loving yourself. You guys are helping people. You're you're nurturing. You're caring. You know, you're abundant. You're just feeling happy. You're enjoying life. You know, you're being that mother figure. So you're cooking. You're cleaning. You're shopping. You guys are doing everything. Like, you're in that Empress energy 100%. A lot of you guys, you're focusing back on yourself regardless of who this person is in your life. New, old, whatever, temporary. We have the Queen of Cups. So you're balancing out your feelings and your emotions. You're coming. You're becoming more emotionally stable. Okay, for some of you guys that are focused on love, you guys are, um, you guys are being more supportive, okay? For those of you who are focused on love, I feel like you're being more supportive by opening up your heart to receive love to come into you. Because some of you guys' hearts were closed because there was so much damage done with this past relationship that, you know, as the empress, you forgot to take care of yourself. So with the empress and the queen of cups, this is you, like, just loving yourself, you know, um... You're very stable. You're very calm. You're more compassionate. You're more devoted to yourself. Okay? Um, you're not emotional. You're not all, of, all over the place. Okay? And it's like you're putting all... It's like everything you lost, you're putting it back into yourself. Okay? And for those of you um, who are looking for love, if it's past person or if it's a new person... With the Empress and, like, the Queen of Cups, like I said, you're opening yourself up to love. You're being more supportive when it comes to love. So you're knowing how to approach that person. You know, you're knowing how to talk to that person. You're knowing what to say, what not to say, how to say it, when to say it. You know, so you're just doing things with love, okay? You're just being more loving, okay? So for a lot of you guys, you know, the heart chakra was closed. You're opening it up. You're seeing that the more you are open, the more that you show your caring and love inside, you're seeing that it's also healing you as well, okay? Because the Queen of Cups is someone that helps someone. So for a lot of you guys, you guys have been helping people. You've been donating. You've been giving stuff away. You've been paying it forward. You've been doing stuff. And that's helping you too. It's helping you um, open yourself up more to love, okay? It's helping you come out of that um, energy of where you, like, just feel insecure. Or you just, you know, just don't feel happy about yourself or you just don't feel happy in general, okay? Um, next, we have the Six of Pentacles. So like I was just saying, I didn't even know this card was there. You guys are being generous. You guys are giving as you're receiving. So like I said, a lot of you guys are donating. You're paying it forward. You're just being happy. You're like in this different energy. For some of you guys, if you were, um, if someone was to owe you money or if you borrow money from someone or someone borrowed money from you, I see money coming in, okay? So money's coming in for some of you guys. Not that that person is balanced, because like I told you with the Wheel of Fortune, some of you guys aren't focused on love. You're focused on other areas of your life. So with the Six of Pentacles, I see money coming in for some of you guys. All right, and then we have the Ace of Wands. So this is your new beginning, the Ace of Wands. This is your brand new beginning. For some of you guys, like I said, with the self-employment card, um, this is you being passionate about something. This is you putting something together. Right, this is you moving forward. If this is a relationship, this is you guys bringing things back together. If this is you focused on yourself, this is you, like, just being very excited and just, just loving yourself. A lot of you guys are tapping into um, your spiritual side, okay? You guys are going through your awakening or coming out of your awakening or just, like, waking up to that, okay? So, with the Ace of Wands, I just see a lot of different energy, okay? So, a lot of things put in, like, being put together. So, beautiful energy with that, okay? Interesting. So, if you guys were dealing with third parties, we have the Knight of Swords, we have the Ten of Wands, and we have the Five of Cups. So, if you guys are dealing with third parties, I don't know, every reading I've been doing, um, even in some personals and even on the channel, like, those are coming to an ending, okay? We got the Knight of um we have the Knight of Swords. Like, you're done. You're done arguing over this. You're tired of this. You're like, I'm tired of this third party. You're like, I'm tired of being a third party. You're like, I'm just done with this. You're done. You're tired of arguing. So, like, he's cutting off her bangs. You're cutting that person off. You're like, just cutting that person out. Okay? With the Ten of Wands, you're frustrated. You're annoyed. You're like, I'm not too hard to please. This is to where you're, like, blaming yourself. Okay? And you're just, you're just tired. So, it's time for you to lift that weight off your back. Okay, so some of you guys are just going to cut that person out. As you cut that person out, you're going to lift that weight off your back, you know, and then we have the five of cups. You're going to be sad, you're going to be hurt, but you're going to accept it and move on. 
Okay, you're going to find forgiveness and you're going to move on. You're just going to accept it. You're going to walk away. Okay, if you guys are dealing with people and there was no communication, we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords. And we have the Page of Swords. We got all Swords energy, okay? So, if you were talking to someone and there was no communication, I feel like communication is going to start coming in. We have the Ten of Swords, so this is the end of that, okay? This is the end of that difficult time with that person. This is like everything being over with, okay? This is like a fresh start. For some of you guys with the no communication and the Page of Swords, for some of you guys, this person was holding a secret, okay? And they needed to let go of this person, the Queen of Swords. They needed to let this person go or this person was an interference, okay? With the Queen of Swords, for some of you guys, yeah, this was an interference. And they didn't want you to find out with the Page of Swords because we have the Page of Blades. So, yeah, they didn't want you to find out. So they cut off communication with you. But now they're ending that situation because they're cutting this person out. They're going to start opening up communication. Okay. For others of you. Yeah, see, okay, yeah. For others of you, if it wasn't because they were um, holding a secret... It was because you found out some significant information. And with the Ten of Swords, it's like you couldn't let go of the past. It was something that they did to hurt you. Okay? And with the Queen of Swords energy, you know, you were just in your feelings. You were mad. You were upset. You were hurt. Like, it was, it was crazy. Okay? And I feel like this was a situation where you found out something that happened. You guys had a huge argument. Okay? Like, a huge argument. And... I don't know if it's the word you said, how you said it, what happened. It's like you were just mad, okay? And how things ended, that person thought that you didn't want nothing to do with them anymore. So this person has not opened up communication with you. For you, you've been waiting for them to open up communication, okay? You're, you're over here, you're sad, you're hurt, you're going through things, and you're just like, why aren't they opening up communication? For some of you guys, you're like, okay, I see them on Facebook, I see them on IG, People are telling me things that's going on with them because you're finding out information or people are telling you things about them and you're like, okay, well, they're not communicating with me. They're not telling me nothing. And it's like with the Ten of Swords, it's like they just thought it was a wrap. They thought it was over. They thought it was done. Okay, so I got two different energies with the no communication. For some of you guys, they did have a secret. They had some stuff going on. They didn't want you to know, so they kept you out of that. For some of you guys, you guys knew something. You found something out. You guys went in on them, went ham on them. You guys went over the top on them and they just, you like killed their soul. Okay, and they just thought it was a wrap. They were like, okay, it's done. There's nothing here. There's nothing left. So that's why they didn't open up communication for some of you guys, okay? So let's pull our... Let's do our Whispers of Love Oracle, and then that would be our reading for today. All right? Spirit of Universe, can I get some Whispers of Love Oracles for Monday, June the 4th? All right, so this is the overall energy for... The, oh, this is the overall energy for the reading. Okay. We have like attracts like. All right. So if you were dealing with a third party situation. All righty. And then for those who have no communication, give me a card for those who have no communication. Okay. Alrighty. So the overall energy for the reading is like attracts like. Okay. And it says, if you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. And we just talked about that. So that's the energy that you guys are shifting into. Remember, we had the Empress and the Queen of Cups. I told you guys are opening up your heart. You're not keeping your heart chakra closed. You guys are helping more, giving more. You guys are becoming more emotionally stable. You're being more support supportive. You're watching the way you talk, the way you think. Like you're you're like showing like you're showing different ways to how it's like you're finding different ways to show that you care. Or that you have changed for some of you guys. So for some of you guys, you guys are listening now. Or you're using kind words. Or 
your approach is different, okay? For those of you who were in third-party situations, we have the heart of the matter. And it says, there is more going on than meets the eyes. Recognize what this is all about. Okay? So there is just some things that's going on that you don't know about. And with the heart of the matters, are you going to stay in that situation and watch things unfold? Or are you going to walk away from the situation and watch things unfold? So for some of you guys, I just feel like walking away is the best thing to do. Okay? I feel like if you guys walk away from this third party situation, what you're really looking for, what you really want is going to come to you. Okay? Because it says there is more going on than meets the eyes recognize what this is all about so i feel like maybe the universe has someone ready for you maybe has someone prepared for you maybe they're just trying to bring a new person in for you okay so listen to your heart and for those who have no communication we have be authentic to who you are okay and at the bottom it says you are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel and I feel like for some of you guys, when this situation happened, when I said there was no communication and you just haven't heard from that person and you thought they were going to open up, like you were being real and true and authentic. I feel like you gave this person your real, true, authentic side. Okay, it, it might have came out not in a good way to them. It probably scared them off and they were like, okay, I'm not going to open up communication. But if that person can't deal with you when you're nice and when you're ugly and when you're mad, you're sad, angry, upset, then that person is not meant for you. Okay, because if you can't be your true authentic self around that person, then that person is just not meant to be for you, period. No one is. Because if you can't be with someone and you can't be yourself, then the relationship would never work. Okay, you don't want to live behind a mask. All right, so with the no communication, it says you are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you really are and how you feel. So how you felt at that time about that situation was you being your true authentic self. Okay, so I know there's no communication and it sucks, but I feel like for some of you guys, don't look back, better is coming. Okay, that's their loss, not yours. Alrighty, so like I tell you guys in every reading, I love you guys. I love you, I love you, I love you. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to hit that sub subscribe button in the far right corner. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Bye.